Hello, friends and followers. So here's my trusty Fluke 77 meter I've had for a long time. And this meter, I think I burned it up on measuring a power transformer. So there's the uh, 100V transformer from Central Electronics that I was measuring. And I think I burned up the meter using that transformer. Anyway, so you can't really fix a meter a volt ohm meter if you don't have another meter that works. So I did buy this uh, 77 4 meter off of eBay for about one <laughs> excuse me, about $130. Um, it says this is JY's personal use only. I don't know who JY is, but I appreciate him taking care of this meter. Um, So this thing can do a thousand volts, I hope. I wonder. Anyway, so I really wanted to get this little old meter working because I was about to throw it out. I thought, well, wait a minute, give it a try here. Anyway, uh, I jumped this part here and I'm able now to get decent ohms on it. So I'm on the ohm scale and I can actually run the meter now on ohms, which it didn't do before. So that's what it always did. And it always had an open load like that. However, if I take off this jumper wire here, it will probably go berserk again. I'm not sure what this little part does, but I found this part here was entirely open. It's probably some type of fusible link. And I don't really want to jump it out. I want to figure out what it did. So when it's open, you can go to ohms here and the meter will flip out like that. That's what it was doing after I, I think, over voltage the meter. So I really got to find out what that little part is. If I jump the part, the meter will, yeah, you can see it's kind of going nuts now. If I jump this part out, it will work correctly. So that must be some type of safety valve to keep the meter from dying with over voltage. I just gotta figure out what it is. But anyway, with, with this jump, it'll work. And I'm happy about that. So, so anyway, where does this part go? It goes from the input lead, which makes sense right there. And so there's the part right there. From the input lead, down, okay, it goes over to here, which goes where? Looks like it goes to that white box, which I think is a capacitor, but I'm not sure. And it also goes down to this little guy here, which is a strange looking capacitor. So that's what it does. Anyway, that's my video on fixing a Fluke 7, 7 meter that at least mine crapped out, I think, from over voltage. That will bring it back to life by jumping this thing, but I gotta figure out what the heck I'm jumping here. So if anybody knows what this little part is, let me know. I'm a little bit weird, leery of just jumping this thing with wire until I know what it did. I'm glad I didn't toss this meter out because it kind of works still. All right, thanks for watching. Have a great day.